Okay guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the balloon has a total mass of 400 kg including the passengers and, and ballast. The balloon is rising at a constant velocity of 18 km per hour when h is equal to 10 m. If the man drops the 40 kg sandbag, determine the velocity of the balloon when the bag strikes the ground. So this man drops a sandbag and the sandbags cover the distance of h which is 10 meters. So we are required to determine the velocity of the balloon when the sandbag just hits the ground. So we are given that the balloon is moving with a constant velocity and that constant velocity is given is uh, 18 km per hour. If we convert it into uh, meter per second this is 18 kilometer per hour so 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meter multiply by 1 hour equals to 3600 second this gives us 5 meter per second so the balloon is moving with 5 meter per second now when the sandbag is dropped from from this position so it will cover a distance of 10 meters and let's say that when the sandbag is dropped, the this the the coordinate system is like this. This is our positive x and this is my positive y. So initially, the sandbag is at the origin. So when it is at the origin, initially the sandbag will have the velocity uh, of that same five meter per second, the that same velocity with which the balloon is moving. So this sandbag will have the velocity in the positive y direction, and this will be that same v a velocity. So we can apply kinematics and we can write that S is equal to S naught plus VAT plus 1 divided by 2A into T square. So now since our coordinate system is, uh, this is our positive Y coordinate system. So VA is positive and this H, the distance travel will be considered as negative. So since in the downward direction, the Y coordinate is negative. So we will write that this is the final distance travel is minus 10. S0 is 0 since the bag is at the origin plus 5 VA is 5 into T and plus 1 divided by 2 and the velocity is positive in the y direction and since the, uh, the sandbag is moving in the downward direction so the acceleration is going to be negative which is minus 9.81 into T square. So now if we simplify this this is minus 10 equals to 5 T and 9.81 divided by 2. So 9.81 divided by 2, this gives us 4.905, so minus 4.905 t square and if I, if I bring this minus 10 to the other side of the equation and if I rearrange this equation, so this will be 4.905 t square plus 5 t plus 10. So this is a quadratic equation in terms of t, so we have to solve this quadratic equation. So this is a minus 4.905 and then 5 and 10. So this gives me a last, uh, the time uh, which the sandbag will take to reach the ground is 2.03. So this is 2.03 t equals to 2.03 second and if you find the second root that will be negative. So that is minus 1 so the time cannot be negative so we will take the positive root. So the time that the, the big takes to travel that 10 meters distance in the downward direction is 2.03 seconds. Now initially uh, when, when the sandbag was not dropped, so we will consider the principle of linear momentum uh, uh, for the balloon along with the, along with the, sand, with the sandbag. So let's say if I write that balloon. with so balloon with sandbag has a mass of has a mass of 400 kgs so then if you apply the principle of linear momentum so that will be mv1 plus the summation of the impulses due to the external forces this will be equal to mv2 so since the balloon is moving with the constant velocity, so V1 and V2 both are equal. So if they are equal, this will this will be cancelled out. 
so we will be left with the summation of uh, the impulse due to external forces that will be equal to zero so now the balloon is subjected to two forces one is the weight of the weight of the balloon which is 400 into 9.81 and one is the thrust force that is the upward force on the balloon so if we can if we apply this principle of linear momentum equation and our positive direction is in the upward direction then this thrust force is going to produce the impulse in the positive direction so i will write plus and the impulse due to the thrust force that will be f into dt and then we have to write minus the impulse due to the weight is going to be negative which is 400 into 9.81 into dt and this will be equal to zero so now the uh, we have we, we have to apply this from uh, 0 to t or t1 to t let's say if i apply this from t1 to t and the force is constant this is from t1 to t so the force is constant we can write this force outside so this will give us f into t this is from t1 to t t2 let's see and this will be minus 400 into 9.81 this is from t1 to t2 and this will be equal to zero or we can write that if I bring this term to the other side of the equation, so this, this will become positive and we will have the equation like this. And now if we put these limits, here we will have the t, remember. So now if we put these limits, this will be f t2 minus t1 and this will be equal to 400 into 9.81 into t2 minus t1. And if we divide both sides of the equation by t2 minus t1, this will cancel out. So this means that the up thrust force will be equal to the weight if it is moving with constant velocity. So the weight is 400 multiplied by 9.81. This gives us 39.24. So this is 39.24 Newton. So along with the sand bake the balloon is moving with a constant velocity so if it is moving with a constant velocity it is not accelerating so in other words we can say that the summation of forces along y on the balloon will be equal to zero so this means that the balloon is in equilibrium if it is moving with a constant velocity so now the up thrust force on the balloon is 39.24 now we have to consider the balloon without sandbag now the the mass of the balloon without the sandbag will be 400 minus the mass of the sandbag which is 40 so this is equal to 360 kg now when the box uh, when the sandbag hits the ground it takes 2.03 seconds so we have to in we have to apply the principle of linear momentum from 0 to 2.0 zero three seconds right so and again the upward motion is considered to be positive and again we can apply the principle of linear momentum so that is mv1 plus the the summation of the impulse due to the external forces and this is equal to mv2 so again if i consider this is the balloon so the up the thrust force is going to act vertically upward and the weight is acting downward weight is 400 uh, now the weight is 360 minus 9.81 remember now the sandbag is not there in the balloon right so this is 360 into 9.81 and initially the balloon is moving with 5 meter per second when the box uh, when the sandbag is dropped the initial velocity of the balloon is 5 meter per second and then when the sandbags just hit the ground the, the velocity will not remain that 5 meter per second the velocity need to be increased right from 5 meter per second since the weight of the total weight of the balloon is decreased and the up uh, the up thrust force is will remain constant this is in 39.24 so with same 39.24 up thrust force the balloon need to move with uh, with greater velocity so uh, so will we we need to find that velocity v2 using this equation so now the mass is 360 v1 is 5 and the external force on the balloon is the thrust force which is 3924 so we have to integrate this that 3924 dt 
and similarly the the impulse due to the weight is negative which is uh, 360 into 9.81 into dt and this will be equal to mass is again 360 and v2 now uh, if we integrate this this will be from 0 to 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 that t which is 2.03 2.03 since uh, the time is considered as zero when the sandbag is just dropped, right? So at that particular instant, we are considering that t is equal to zero. So this is from zero to 2.03. Now this is 360 into 5 plus 3924 into t. If we integrate this, 3924 is constant and the integration of dt will give us t. And this is from zero to 2.03 minus this is 360 into 9.81 this is constant again and dt the integration of dt will give us t and this is from 0 to 2.03 and this is equal to 360 into v2 so now if i simplify this this is 360 into 5 minus 39.24 into if we put these limits, this is 2.03 minus 0, so this will give us 2.03 minus 360 into 9.81 into 2.03 minus 0, so again it will give us 2.03 and this is 360 V2. So 360 into 5, this gives us 1800, let me write that this is 1800 minus 39.24 into 2.03 this is this is plus this is remember that this is plus so this is plus and 79.65.72 minus 360 into 9.81 into 2.03 so this gives us minus 7169 7169.15 and this is equal to 360v2 now that is 1800 plus 7, 7965.72 minus 7169.15 this gives me 2596.57 and this is equal to 360v2 and now if I divide both sides of equation by 360 so this is answer divided by 360 and this gives me 7.21 so V2 is equal to 7.21 meter per second so this is the velocity of the balloon when the sandbag just hits the ground so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning.